drowning in a sea of bills. Then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. And now, let's meet today's contestants. I'm David, and I'm in debt because my girlfriend has expensive taste. I'm Rochelle, and I'm in debt because I'm trying to get rich and famous and no one is cooperating. I'm Frank, and I'm in debt because between gigs as a comic, I live off cash advances. And now, starting at host, the Brown Prince of Credit, the Duke of Debt, Wayne Martindale. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to our show. Well, the country's in debt. You're probably in debt. But most importantly, our three players, David, Rochelle, and Frank, have come to us with their real-life debt. And one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of this show. So let's get this party started, okay? Our first round is general debt, and here are today's categories. I'm not mad. I'm Scottish. <laughs> Movies you can read. <laughs> Famous flunkies. Making up is hard to do. And finally, how corny can you get? You want to see corny? I'll show you corny. <laughs> this is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least dead at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Nothing! You are so good at what you do. Frank, since you have spent less than your opponents in the game of life, you get the honor of selecting our first category, okay? But to make things fair, we are going to even you all out to the average dead amount of the day. Your average debt is $7,417. Two final reminders. All the questions on debt take the IMUR format, and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. Do we understand each other? Are we ready? Frank, select our first category. Okay, I'll take uh, Making Up is Hard to Do for minus 200, please, Wink. Okay, the category is all about cosmetics. Cosmetics. I'm the recently deceased makeup monarch who gave the world pancake makeup and waterproof mascara. David? Your Max Factor. Sounds like you use those products, David. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, go. Can I have movies you can read for minus 200, please? You certainly may, and it's a good one. <laughs> it's The Detonator. The most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers, and because of that, it's worth $500 for whoever gets it right. I'm the book about the scandalous 1919 Chicago White Sox baseball team that was turned into a film with Charlie Sheen and John Cusack. Frank. Uh, you are eight men out. Worth $500 right. off your yeah. debt. That's the way to do it. Go, All right, Frank. Mike, I'll go with movies you can read for minus 250, please. I'm the Jim Thompson book about con artists that was made into a 1990 movie starring Angelica Houston and Mrs. Warren Beatty. Frank. Uh, you are the grifters. You got it for All another right. 250. <laughs> uh, Wink, I'll take movies you can read for minus 150, please. I'm the Nabokov book that Stanley Kubrick made into a movie starring Peter Sellers about a teacher with a schoolgirl crush. Rochelle. You are Lolita? Wait. That is correct. All yes. right. I'd like uh, making up as hard to do for minus 250, please. Players, I'm the Italian actress and model who's been the face of Lancome Cosmetics since 1982. Frank. You are Isabella Rossellini? Isabella Rossellini, yes. you said that so well. Yes. Ooh. Go. Famous flunkies for minus 250, please. First time in the category. These questions are all about famous people who did not graduate high school. I'm the great Greek who played the Greek tycoon, but couldn't tell you what magna cum laude means. Frank. You are Anthony Quinn? That's it for another right. 200. Boy, I'll no, take, 250. Um, movies you can read for minus 100, please. Again, in that category, I'm Carrie Fisher's book about a washed-out actress that was made into a movie starring Meryl Streep. Frank. You are postcards from the edge. You wing. know your movies, right. my friend. I'll take uh, movies you can read for minus 50. Completing that category, I'm the puffy Terry McMillan novel that was turned into a hit movie with Whitney Houston and Angela Bassett. Frank. You are waiting to exhale. Wayne. You're right on once again for $50. All right, I'll go uh, with famous flunkies for minus 200, please. Even though I never finished high school, I'm still smug enough to be chief anchor on the ABC Evening News. Frank. You are Peter Jennings? Wayne? That is correct. All right. That's famous, interesting, isn't famous it? Famous flunkies for minus 150. Players, I didn't stick around to see red asphalt in driver's ed, so I became the daredevil who tried to jump Snake River. Again, Frank. You are evil Knievel, Wink? You've got a corner on the market right. down there, Frank. I'll take famous flunkies for minus 100, please. 
Without attending a whole lot of phys ed courses, I'm the singer from Down Under who sang Let's Get Physical. Again, Frank. You are Olivia Newton-John. And again, you're right. Famous flunkies for minus, one, or for minus 50. Right? Wrapping up that category, I sang lead for the Who, but I can't tell if the kids are all right since I never finished school. Frank. You are Roger Daltrey, Wink? Is anybody else's buzzer working <laughs> over there? Yes, Frank, you got it. Select again. Okay, I'll take, uh, how corny can you get for minus 150, please? Players, these questions are about corn and corn products. Call me sweet, but don't call me sugar. I'm the sticky sweet liquid made by Caro. Rochelle. You are corn syrup, I Wink. knew you'd work. I knew it worked. Can you get for minus 250, please? Again, in that category, I'm the 1984 Stephen King movie set in Iowa's Corn Belt about a bunch of evil kids with an ear for trouble. Frank. You are children of the corn, Wayne. Yours is still working, Frank. How Less corny? than two minutes remaining in general debt. Go. How corny can you get for minus 50? Players, here's your question. So what if I'm boring? I'm also the best-selling brand of cereal in the U.S., and I have a rooster on every box. Frank. You are cornflakes, Wink? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Uh, how corny can you get for minus 100? Heat me up and watch me grow. I'm the popcorn with a built-in aluminum pan that's as much fun to make as it is to eat. Rochelle. You are Jiffy Pop. Wait. Yes, for $100 off your debt. I'll take how corny can you get for minus 250? Wrapping up the category, I'm a Native American word for corn that shares its pronunciation with an R&B band fronted by Frankie Beverly. Frank. You are maize, Wink. M-A-I-T-E. Right. Uh, making up is hard to do for minus 50. I'm what your cheeks do when you're embarrassed and another name for rouge. <laughs> blush. Blush. Oh. Frank, select again, please. Uh, uh, making up is hard to do for minus 100, Wink. Okay, and here's your question. Players, I am the cover girl mascara in the green tube named ironically after a long-distance running event. Rochelle. You are Marathon, Wink. That is correct. Marathon Mascara. Very good. Making up the card to do for minus 150, please. Completing that category, I'm the makeup company with a woman's name that reportedly rewards top sales ladies with pink Cadillacs. Frank. You are Avon, Wink? No. No. Oh. No. Rochelle. You are Mary Kay, Wink. That is right. Mary Kay Cosmetics. I'm not mad. I'm Scottish for minus 150, please. Yeah, I'm America's number one brand of blended scotch whose ads have profiles of people who enjoy my whiskey. No scotch drinkers. Doers, doers. Go again. Oh, that's the end. The end of general debt, and I'm sorry to say that you, David, closest to me, have the highest score. Unfortunately, in our game for you, that means you're eliminated, but you won't go home empty-handed because Julie has this for you. Hey, David, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Buy your girlfriend a gift. Stay with us. We'll be back to see Rochelle and Frank. It's going to be a battle. A chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this. Now, let's get deeper into debt with Wink Martindale. Welcome back, everybody. We're down to two players now. Frank's in the lead with minus $5,167. Rochelle has minus $6,767. And although that's a difference of $1,600, Rochelle, i got to tell you that we've had uh, players in your position before who came back, caught up, went ahead, won the game. But with Frank, you got your work cut out for you because he is a good player, as we've seen. Good luck to you both. At the end of this round, one of you, the one with the least debt remaining, will have a chance to have us pay off your entire debt. But first, we're going to play gambling debt. In this round, I'm going to show you a category, and then you'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values naturally increase throughout the round. $300 will be at stake on our first category, which is people who've never won an Academy Award. This category is about famous actors who have never won an Oscar. Now, since you're considerably behind, Rochelle, we'll let okay. you start the bidding. I can answer four. Frank? Uh, I can answer five, Wayne. He says he can answer all five. Frank, if you do it, You'll pick up the $300. All if right. you miss a single one, Rochelle right. knocks $300 off her debt. Right. First, though I was nominated seven times, I'm the Irish actor who's never won even though I was in King Ralph and Club Paradise. You are Peter O'Toole? Oh, yes. That is right. Number two, I starred with Academy Award winner Jodie Foster in Bugsy Malone and versatile Willie Ames in Zap, but I've been tragically shut out on award night. You are Scott Baio, Wayne? We're, we're hard on Scott, All yes. Right. <laughs> we never let up on Scott. Number three, 
I'm the Welsh star of films like Beckett and Equus, who may have been driven to drink to drown his seven losses on awards night. You are Richard Harris, Wink? No, Richard oh. Burton. The money goes yes. to Rochelle. <laughs> Richard Burton, not Richard Harris. So, Rochelle, we knocked $300 off your debt. Makes you a little bit closer. Let's move on to our next category, worth $400. Swallow me. I'm good for you. This category is all about vitamins. Vitamins. Rochelle, start the bidding. I can name... I can answer four. Frank? Uh... I'm gonna say prove it. He's not going to say five this time. He says, Rochelle, prove it. Okay. Prove you can answer four out of five, Rochelle, for $400. At 10 million strong and growing, I'm the vitamin company that lets you bite Wilma's head off. You are Flintstones Vitamins, Wink. Acceptable or not? Yes, oh, Flintstones, chewable sure. or vitamins. Okay. Number two, I'm the Warner Brothers rabbit whose kids' vitamins might contain more vitamin A than the carrots I chomp on. You are Bugs Bunny. Right, Wink. that's two, two to go for the money. Just like my name says, I'm the multivitamin made by Bayer that you only need to take every 24 hours. You are one a day. That right? is correct. One to go for the money. I'm the A to zinc vitamin that reminds us it's a great time to be silver. You are Centrum. Right. $400 off your debt. Making things a bit closer, moving on to our $500 category. You getting a little nervous there, Frank? Category is New Mexico, not your father's Mexico. Rochelle, start the bidding again. I can answer three. She says three, Frank. Uh, I can answer four. He says four, Rochelle. You want to make it five or ask him to prove it? I'd like him to prove it. Frank, four out of five for $500. I'm the capital of New Mexico, and the words you might see 500 times while you're stuck at a railroad crossing waiting for a train to pass. You are Santa Fe, Wink? Right. One, three to go. I'm the bread and butter of New Mexico's bustling tourist industry, the largest natural cave room in the world. Uh, you are my bedroom, Wink. <laughs> I, I... Carl's Bad Cabin. Ah, oh, okay, Carl's Wink. Bad Cabin. All okay, right. you need all three of these for the it. money. Let's do it. I'm New Mexico's largest city and the place where the Partridge family could point you in the direction. Uh, you are Albuquerque. That is correct. You're still alive. Two to go for the money. I'm in New Mexico City, famous for a 1947 UFO sighting incident that puts the enchantment in the land of enchantment. You are Roswell? Yes, Roswell, New Mexico. Very good. One to go for $500. I'm in New Mexico National Park that's also the name of a forgettable flick with Willem Dafoe. You are White Sands? You have the money. $500 off your debt. Well done. Okay, this is a must-win situation now for you, Rochelle. If you don't get this category, you'll be mathematically eliminated, and Frank will have the game, okay? It's worth $750. Category is the lovely and talented Arnold Schwarzenegger. Frank, start the bidding. Uh, I can name five, Wink. Oh! Rochelle automatically says, prove it. Frank, if you answer five out of five, you've won the game. Okay. That's simple. Right. If you miss one, one single question, right. Rochelle will still be alive and will move on to the final category. Listen carefully. Sure, Clark Gable had, frankly, Scarlet, but I'm the film where a robotic Arnold first coined the phrase, I'll be back. You are Terminator, Wayne. That is right. That's one. Four to go. I'm the 1982 warrior film that arms Arnold with a loincloth, a sword, and awesome acting ability. You are Conan the Barbarian. You are right. Two, three to go. I'm the film where Arnold is beaten like a rented mule by Sharon Stone, but goes to Mars to save the universe. You are Total Recall. Wayne. You have three answers. Two to go. I'm the 1994 film where Arnold experiences morning sickness, but it's the audience who wants to hurl... You are... Time's up. Junior, Rochelle gets the money. She's still alive. $750 from her debt. Junior wasn't the greatest movie. That's why you forgot. <clears throat> anyway, let's move on to our final category. $1,500 to value. Whoever gets this category wins the game. Happy days are here again. These questions are all about TV's happy days. Rochelle, start the bidding. I can answer five. Five out of five. She knows her happy days. Rochelle, if you answer five out of five, this will be quite a comeback win for you. Miss only one, game goes to Frank. Okay. Question one. We're the two girls who double dated with Richie and Fonzie and ended up with our own show. You are Laverne and Shirley. That's one. Number two. 
although he was usually just called the Fonz or Fonzie, I'm the full name of Henry Winkler's character. You are Arthur Fonzarelli, Winkler. That is correct. You have two, three to go. My career has been less than busy since playing freckle-faced Ralph Malf on Happy Days. You are Donnie Most. You have three correct answers. You need two more for a win. Now, I'm Mr. Darcy on Married with Children, but I played the dreamy basketball coach and English teacher on Happy Days. Oh, you're that good-looking guy. <laughs> Hurry. I don't Ted know. McKinley, Ted Frank McKinley. wins the game. Oh, Ted McKinley. Oh, man. Well, Rochelle, you took a good, good try at him. Frank, that means you're going on to the final round to have us pay off everything you owe, and you, Rochelle, will go home with this. Julie? Well, Rochelle, sorry, we're not going to pay off your bills, but we are going to give you one of our debt piggy banks, along with a $500 savings bond. Don't send it all in place. Will Frank pull it off? We'll be back to see if Frank can move out of the red and into the black right after this commercial message. Welcome back to Dead, everybody. We're here with Frank Nicotero. Frank played his first two rounds. He eliminated his opponents and knocked $4,250 off of his debt. Well done, Frank. Thank Good you, luck to you as we continue now. Thank you. Now you've earned the right to have us pay off your entire original debt of $7,053 in the round we appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer 10 of my questions in 60 seconds, Frank, your debt of $7,053 will be eradicated. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Your category is going to be... Back to the 70s, we set your expiration date at 60 seconds, and your time starts now. I'm the TV show that starred a bionic man named Steve Austin. Six million dollar man. Yes. I'm the streetwise singer who sang Born to Run. Bruce Springsteen. Yes. Launched in 1973 on the nickname of the first U.S. orbiting space station. Apollo. No. I'm the 1972 film where Robert Redford runs but, for the U.S. Senate. Uh, Manchurian Candidate? No. The soul band who had a hit with You Make Me Feel Brand New and Bet You By Golly Wow. Pass. I'm the real name of Son of Sam, the 44 caliber killer. David Berkowitz. Yes, I played Bernstein in All the President's Men. Dustin Hoffman. Yes, I'm the Hustler magazine publisher who survived an assassination attempt in 1978. Flint. Yes, I'm the Middle Eastern leader who was forced out by Ayatollah Khomeini in 1979. Shah of Iran. Yes, I'm the British punk band famous for the song God Save the Queen. Uh, Sex Pistols. Yes, I'm the rambling gambling man who sang Against the Wind. Bob Seger. Yes, I'm the country where Jonestown was located. Uh, Guyana. Yes, I'm the medical vial that Louise Brown was famous for being born Test in. Two, baby. Yes. Done. Nine hard. seconds remaining. Launched in 1973, the nickname of the first U.S. Oh, orbiting yeah. space, Skylab. Oh, Skylab. The candidate know. was the Robert the Redford picture in 72. Right. The stylistics recorded yeah. Bet You By Golly Wow and You Make Me Feel Brand New. Okay, congratulations to you, Frank. You're officially out of debt. What hey, do you think hey, of that? Woo, sounds All great. Right. Thank you. Ah. We're going to pay off your entire debt of $7,053. But now... It's decision time, yep, because yep. we're going to offer you the opportunity to bet your debt. Right. When we selected you to be a player on debt, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was the music of Billy Joel. Before the show, we prepared one question about the music of Billy Joel, and if you can answer this question correctly, we'll not only pay off your debt of $7,053, you see Mr. Clean here? I do. We will give you that same amount in cash in this briefcase that he has. He's holding it. However, if you go for it and miss, you'll lose everything. It's a big risk, but I think you'll agree it's a big payoff. Sure. We're going to give you a little time to think on this as we take our final commercial break, Frank. Be right back, everybody, to see what he's going to do. Don't go away. Welcome back to Dead, everybody. Okay, moment of decision for Frank. You've had some time to think it over. Right. If you go for it, this question will be worth $14,106. What's it going to be? You want to risk it all or go for the big payoff and stop now, walk away with your bills paid? I, I came to play and Billy's the man, so let's do it. I'm going to go. Go for okay, it. Okay, he's going to go for it. You'll have 10 seconds to answer the question once I've asked it, okay? Okay. Your favorite subject in the world of pop culture, the music of Billy Joel. Question. I'm the title of the Billy Joel song with the lyrics, 
They say it takes a lot to keep a love alive, and every heart there pumps a different beat. But if we shift the rhythm into overdrive, we could generate a lot of heat. You are 52nd Street? You won $14,106. Congratulations to you. You can take it and look at it. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our man here, Frank. That's all the time we have left. We'll be back next time with three more big spenders, and we'll do our best, like we did Frank, to help get them out of... Yes! Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Ron's new 5-in-1 Food Preparation Center. Needs, mixes, blends, chops, and crushes ice. One machine for all your food preparation needs. From Ron's. It's the Winter SF 1205 Single Line Fax Machine. Saves you money on your monthly phone bill by working with your existing telephone line. Only from Swintech. Coming up, Suzanne finds the accountant who absconded with her fortune. Will she get her revenge? Watch Designing Women next. Tonight at 9, she doesn't know who she is. Finding out may cost her her life. Veronica Hamill stars in The Disappearance of Nora on the Lifetime Evening Movie.